Captain on the bridge. All right, Captains, we are back on the bridge. And today, yes, we got some things to go over from the Star Trek Online YouTube channel. So on screen. Yes, Captains, before we get into the video, do us a huge favor and hit that like button to help the channel. But also, if you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing here to the YouTube bridge where we're always on the lookout for like mighty captains to share our love, passion for Star Trek Online, but also things Star Trek. Now that said, here we go. Yes, captains, what we're going to do is go over the recent 10 forward stream that revealed three new ships. So what we're going to do is drop the ECs and at the end give our conclusion. So we're not going to go over the whole stream here. We're not going to play it, but just little snippets here and there of, of course, things that I thought were interesting. But on top of the three ships, the first thing that they did here on the stream was show off the new Photon launcher that is coming for the reward or coming for the first contact as a reward there for that event. And I thought it's pretty cool. I can't wait to get this. There are already some ideas cooking in my head about, look, look at this. This absolutely looks amazing how it looks. It's not doing a lot of damage, but you see the setting there on advance, but it looks fun. Not gonna lie, it, just, it actually does look fun. Now it has, I think it said six charges. Jesse was saying it has six charges. And while it's recharging there, you can use other weapons. So that's great. We're gonna use this, not only the launcher, but also the two rep torpedo launchers from the Temporal and Terran along with the one from the winter store and have some fun shenanigans that way. Thanks to Dwayne for reminding us of that, as well as the another fun thing, a Polaron bombardment. That should be a fun thing to do on the ground. And you know, captains, I'm not that much of a ground captain, but when we think something's fun, we're gonna definitely go ahead and have our fun and create some shenanigans with it. So glad they kind of showed that off. That's great, but of course, we know why we're definitely here because they showed off the new ship, which of course you've already seen in the thumbnail, which is the USS Enterprise A from the Kelvin timeline. Now, shout out to Augie and Stav for actually telling me of the other ship that I thought was I was all for which is the Tacoma or whatever it was, but it was the, also in the scene where the Enterprise was getting refitted there. And that ship looked absolutely amazing. I thought it was gonna be that ship, but it's not, it's this. So we're gonna just focus on this because that is indeed what we are getting now. The issue I had with this was the pylons and thinking it was too bulky or just kind of looked weird from the side profile, but I do like the slimmed down look of the nacelles and how wide the nacelles are now, because captains who've been with me for a while and know that whenever I've fl flown the Kelvin Timeline Enterprise, the issue, the only issue I've had since I grew to love that ship is that the nacelles are just too close to each other. This kind of solves that, but the pylons after seeing them here, it didn't look too bad. So some views here that they go over, one of them there and from this view it looks literally the same other than the slim down nacelles as mentioned now we can see here that they go over all the weapons calls now a um, huge shout out to Dwayne for posting it on discord we'll go over that now because it is on the discord here all the images that he took so again shout out to you Dwayne thank you for doing that we're gonna go over it anyways when the blog comes out officially. But we have the information now, so we'll kind of drop the ECs there uh, right now. So, first thing up that Dwayne posted here, it was the Universal Console, which is called the Proximity Based Anti Opposition Emitter. And what that does passively gives you 21.4% major damage plus 14.3% flight speed and turn rate. Now, what does it actually do? So it is an AOE phaser damage based on space, on speed I should say. For 20 seconds centered on self, 
Both of them one click take 1,381.6 phaser damage times 4 per second scales with current flight speed. Small enemy targets are vaporized on contact, minus the previous fighters. Self immune to kinetic damage and phaser damage. Interesting. Self plus 50% flight speed and turn rate. The visual on this was absolutely amazing. We'll go back to that again when we go back to the main YouTube page, but we're going to go over this now. And of course, there's the image of it. Now, the actual, I believe this is the trait. Yeah, there's the trait here. It was called the Gravitational Nexus. Maneuverability, exotic, and projectile buffs in area near anomaly. So it creates an artificial gravitational nexus for 30 seconds, once per 45 seconds max. Allies within five clicks of the nexus game, plus 20% flight speed and turn rate, plus 20% bonus all damage with exotic damage abilities, plus 20% bonus all damage with projectile weaponry. I mean, it's trying to please the both the Saifu captains and Torp captains. It sounds okay, to be honest, I, captains, you know, I'm not a Saifu captain, but it is there, especially stream tonight, or at least the recording of this video before, there were some captains who were actually excited for this ship, and I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna get this ship right away, but it's on the list, just because of that. And indeed, this ship can actually space Barbie with the previous variants if you own them all there in game. Some other shots there. As you can see, it's a 5-3 loadout. So I, they need to do this treatment for the Sovereign. I'm just saying, throwing that in there, they need to do that for the Sovereign. For the stations here, this is what they got. Universal Lieutenant Commander. A universal Lieutenant. I believe that's Universal. Lieutenant Commander Tactical. And it's a pilot seating. And it is a engineering commander intel. And with a ensign psi. And it is designated as the Kelvin Time of the Constitution to Intel Cruiser. So it does look better with the slim down nacelles, I'm not gonna lie. It makes it less more I don't know, the the first thing that I thought of when I first saw the Kelvin timeline with the nacelles being those big old bulgy fat nacelles was play school. I don't know why, but that's kind of what the vibes I got from it. This looks a lot better nacelle wise. Saucer looks different. Yes, there was some variation to the changes of the saucer. They showed that also on stream there. Again, the pylons, again, I just kind of want to see how they look from the side fully, but when I did saw, see the ship kind of go from side to side, it looked fine. The nacelles are actually really looking pretty slick there. So again, we're gonna go over it and again when the blog comes out. But again, thanks Dwayne for putting that in the Discord. Now we're gonna head back to the YouTube page here. and show off that console. And we can actually get a shot here of the ship warping in. So we get to see the side. Again, my issue was it just looked too weird from the side profile, but it didn't look bad. It translated pretty okay game-wise, in my opinion. Because in the pictures that I saw, the pylon at the very end went all the way back to the aft of the ship. This didn't do that so again it translated pretty well so what Kale's gonna do here is activate that console very visually heavy but it, it looks pretty cool it reminds me of those plasma little orbs that you bought using like San Francisco shops back in the day when I went to the mall comment below captains if you remember that San Francisco shop but there is the visual for the console there it looks cool and they did take some influence from the movie of what they could, especially that trait. Apparently that trait is influenced by the station that the Enterprise was in. But pretty cool visual. And he was able to actually activate it really quickly, so I'm not sure if that's a thing, but as he, he, he didn't really 
put any Kelvin weaponry on it. So, but again, see, look at that. It activated like right away. So I'm not sure why, if you can turn it on it off and on again or whatever, but that's a lot of visual look in there. So I'm not 100% sold on it. I'm going to probably, like I said, put it on that list, but we'll probably go over a little bit more definitely when we get the official blog. Now, we're going to go to Store Red here. Huge shout out to, of course, the Sajukar for giving the recap of the actual stream itself. So this ship is an Infinity R&D ship. So unfortunately, it's in that. Now, you can also get this ship for free for next year's campaign. So any ship, of course, released during that calendar year will be available the year after. So keep that in mind. Captain they did, of course, mention that. So that will be actually coming out this Thursday, the 11th, tomorrow as the drop of this video, which of course is the release of First Contact Day as well, the event. Of course, they talk about the new Photon Burst weapon, which again, we're kind of really looking forward to that. And as mentioned there, it can hold six charges and use an internal replicator to make torpedo every 15 seconds. So pretty cool. And the expectation is you start with a fight using it, raining damage down on enemies, switch to your main weapon, wait till it recharges, and then go ahead. Now I love how it does an AOE damage knockback. Of course, we already read that it does physical damage, and of course it does disintegrate your enemies when you are when they get killed by it. Now, the one thing that was really cool about this is you can actually get knocked back as well. Doesn't say you get damaged, but if you're too close to an NPC that gets knocked back, you're gonna get knocked back as well. But this is the gonna be the fun part. Just give a bunch of these weapons to your boss and have a whole squadron of photon torpedoes or torpedoes rain down on. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be hilarity shenanigans on the ground. So, secondary fire more is a homing mode launches to whichever foe is closest to you. Weapons that feel beefier than Photon Torpedo Kits as, yeah, it's pretty good. So again, the new ship, we've already went through that. And it can, of course, go through all the kit bashing, space barb ability if you have all the Connies. That's, of course, the cloak because it's because it does that. I never saw it. And one interesting thing they said, they kind of talked about, again, about alien ships and Federation, of course. They're always going to be Federation heavy ships when they release. And I guess it makes more sense that this is the ship that they do release than the other Kelvin ship, the Sacoma, whatever that I was talking about earlier. But there's still a handful of ships from the Kelvin timeline that have not been released. So I hope that with this, they kind of keep the trend going. But I feel like after they release the ship, they're going to go on to another one and then just kind of put the Kelvin timeline to the side. There's still some really good ships that I would like to acquire for my collection and hopefully in the future they actually do revisit that. So now the last thing that we'll go over is this. They actually showed, or Kale showed, two of the upcoming Dyson ships, which I'm surprised they did. So we'll go over here, kind of scroll here, show it off here at kind of the end of the stream. And again, I was kind of surprised that he did that. We've gotten it ready here. There you go. It was kind of towards the end of the stream there. But he showed off two. Now, if we remember, the Dyson ships were released like years ago, 2015. Oh, wait. Okay, well, there's the Ramen one. We're going to go back because there was also the KDF one. So the Romulan one rem reminds me of the ship that came from the Delta pack. The Alil, the Alil, the Alil. So I've tried to tell me how to say that word, Sovereign, um, Princess Sovereign there. So, but this looks pretty cool. I liked it. And of the three Dyson ships prior, the, the Romulan one was my favorite because it looked like a very slim Derpidex. I kind of like the color scheme that they're going for here. I would probably make it more the tra traditional Romulan look, personally, if I get them. I'm not sure yet. 
this is coming out soon. We're going to see what this looks like. Probably get some individual ships, individual ships. But there was also the Klingon one that they showed. But that of the two that they showed definitely was the better one. That was indeed the better one. Now, where is the Klingon ship? Show the Klingon ship here. There it is. So they're going again with that hammerhead theme with this ship. Purple nacelle is kind of the same thing with the Romulan did it, that they did there. The old KDF Tier 5 one wasn't bad, but it had almost like more of a bird of prey sort of head. This has that hammerhead theme, and this is not the first ship that has that hammerhead theme. The Tamir, the recently, well not recently, but one of the Alliance ships, there has a hammerhead look along with the Quib. That also was a ship that came in the Delta pack there. It looks okay. I uh, would Again, we're going to have to wait and see what other sort of options it comes with kit bashability, if it can make it look better. But that was a little bit slimmer as well. Of the two, definitely that one wins. The Romulan one wins. Now, we're going to quickly go on the Stowe Bridge. Because just in case some of their new captains here but we're talking about new tier six ships here and some may not know which ones we're talking about so there it is there's the dyson so we're gonna go with the dyson here and the sh under ships all there you go so these were the original three released when the dyson arc came out this is the Romulan one that I thought looked pretty cool. And even till this day, I think it looks pretty good. Now these are more science sort of based ships, but of the three, this was the better looking one, definitely. Cause again, it just looked more slimmed down, futuristic derpa decks, which I really did appreciate. And once you put the green color on it, it looks heck of a lot better in my opinion. But there's that. There was also the KDF. Here, here's the KDF one. Again, more of a traditional bob looking head. Wasn't the best looking, but better than the Federation one. And I'm not much of a Saifu, but I did use it for a hot minute when I got it first. But glad we have it and glad we're gonna get the tier six version. Now they didn't show the Federation one, but the Federation one was the one I was looking forward to when th this was announced that we're gonna get these ships. The Federation got slapped with an ugly stick. This doesn't even, like I, I don't even, <laughs> for some reason, does that not remind you of a Pokemon of some sort? Am I the only one? Like too big, I, I don't know. This was not, now these had attack modes and such, had look a little different to them and had like proton weapons and such but the federation was the ugliest one of them and it just looked kind of horrible to be honest and i'm interested to see how they make the federation one look better than this because I, I don't think they can make it any worse looking but i could be wrong we'll just have to wait and see there was no date that i heard of when we were listening it on the stream there there was no release date, so we're just going to have to wait and see. And of course, if that news comes out, we're going to definitely, definitely let you captains know of that. So that's all for this video, captains. Thought we would just kind of go over quickly the recap of the stream. Of course, looking at the new images of the ships coming. Of course, the Kelvin Timeline Enterprise A, the refit, along with the two new Dyson ships leaked on stream with the Federation one still being yet to be seen. And when they do drop that, know that we're gonna drop our ECs on that. So Caps, do us a huge favor, hit the like button, comment below, let us know if you're gonna be getting the Kelvin A Enterprise either this year or if you're gonna wait till next year's event campaign. And what you also think of the two Dyson ships shown on stream. Of course, if you're not subscribed yet, consider doing so. And with that, we'll leave it on this note.
live long and prosper.